never get free Lamb to the slaughter What you gon' do when there's blood in the water The price of your greed is your son and your daughter What you gon' do when there's blood in the water Look me in my eyes Tell me everything's not fine All the people ain't happy Hi guys, this is Ravenclaw What If. Welcome back to another What If story. Now this is What If Deku Was in a Sealed Off Universe? Part 6, I think. Okay. Alright, before we begin, I know it's been like a day or two, so it's going to be, it's going to take me a, a little bit to get back in the swing of things. So, where are we going to start up with this part? As we cup it, we'll we'll time skip a couple weeks on the sail um saying um planet that they colonize on this one. Oops, sorry. Let's um let me do something to get that out of the way. Now during this time, Izuku has been training and training with Mina, teaching her some things. As he's been um Secretly helping out the rest of the Saiyans. Rebuilding stuff. He's not using his men. He's personally doing it. As he's been. He had not. He's not really been hiding it. But the uh, princess and the other two Saiyans. Um, Vex and Kira. Haven't noticed yet. Uh, give me a second. Ah. As you have Mina training. As the princess gets her attention, as she um taps on Mina's shoulder, as she punches um the princess, but as she ducks out of the way, as Mina's like, my my apologies, I'm not really smart for you to do that while I'm training. That's what Izuku always says. As she's accidentally hit Izuku a couple times on accident. What do you want, Princess? As she's like, speaking of the <laughs> green hair guy, where is Izuku? I can't find him. As Mina is like, I haven't seen him. He hasn't been around. He was supposed to spar today, but he never showed up. I really don't know where he is. And as the Princess is like, is, it, is there a way you can you sense his energy? Because I sure can't. As you know, smiles. No, no one can. Don't worry. If whatever Izuku's doing, he's not doing nothing treacherous. As she's, she's pretty dent on finding him to keep an eye on him. As you have Izuku, helping the re um, the hopping helping the process of rebuilding. As some of the Saiyans were surprised. But after he's been doing this for a couple days in secret, so they finally they finally don't see him as a major threat, as he's he's been friendly to uh, towards everyone, even though the ones that were being hostile, he was quite friendly. After they kept punching him, but he was he was dodging everyone their everyone their attacks. Sorry. He was dodging every one of their attacks as they fell exhausted and fell over as the rest of the Saiyans started laughing. So that sort of thing happened. As you have the princess, as she sees Kira watching the, the village, as she's Kira, have you seen Izuku? Princess, he's over there at the village. Apparently, he's been, he's been quite the busy person. As her eyes widen, as she's like, I don't understand, what is he doing? As Kira's like, apparently he's been helping, helping the residents rebuild. Apparently he's been doing it for a while now. As she's like, I don't understand him. What is he af what is he after? He's, I've never um, experienced anyone from the cooler empire to act like this. As Kira's like, I don't know, the boy's interesting. Said none the least. 
he's not your typical run-the-mill grunt from the um, the mighty empire they would like to say as you have a Zuku walking after repairing us someone bumps into him as it's a little girl as she dropped her doll or little stuff animal thing as she looks up and cowers like mister please don't eat me as some of the fans saw his transformation so as he's like <sighs> as Izuku bends down with a smile all her parents are across the way are um, on edge and she's like stand up well little one as she looks uh, up him kind of scared and she's like don't <laughs> don't worry kid I don't eat people I'm not that type of I'm not a monster I'm misunderstood as he picks up the doll, why don't you run along and play? As the same as the same mother is like apologize, a beg basically, because they're still kind of frightened of him a little bit. As he's like, he's like, it's no problem, ma'am. As he walks off, as Izuku finds a nice quiet area to sit down to relax, as he has his head leaning backwards. As he, as he hears, hey, here, catch this. As Izuku catches some sort of um, container that has water in it. As she's like, I don't get you, Izuku. As she sits next to him, what are you after? As Izuku's like, I'm not after anything, really. I just simply couldn't watch, you know, the rest of the, I just simply couldn't watch the village, you know. In, in, the, in the state it is and not help out. It's productive. And she's like, aren't you like, I don't have a temper alliance, but aren't you like gun ho to kill us all? Um, not me personally, my old man. It, yeah. But I haven't ordered, I haven't been ordered otherwise, so you're in the clear. As you have Izuku, as his scouter goes off, as he's like, excuse me, princess, I have to take this. As Izuku's walking back, what is it? Emperor Cooler would like to have a status update. All right, I'm heading back to the, to the ship now. As he walks past Mina, Mina, come. As all the Saiyans are off, Vex, the princess and Kara are curious what the hell's going on. As Izuku gets in one of the one of the call rooms, as a hologram appears of its um cooler, as Vex, the princess, and Kara has their ear against the door listening in. Status report. Izuku. Came in contact with the subject. Failed to kill. But I've injured him quite severely. Tracking him down won't be an issue. I'm... I'm... I memorized his power signature. He won't be a hide for long. Now that's settled. The stuff... The temporary alliance you have with the Saiyans is no longer needed. Kill them all. As Izuku... As Izuku says... Well, as Izuku speaks up... As Cooler looks at it as Izuku... As he could tell that he wants to say something... Go ahead, my boy. Speak up. Sir, um, father... I think the eradications of the sand would be a... Vast waste of potential. As Cooler is like, what do you mean? They are more valuable allies than enemies, than foes, father. This whole eradication thing, I could see the potential in their species. And what they could actually be, actually, could actually become. As Cooler 
sits there and ponders it. As Cooler's like, what are you plotting, son? As he took smiles, as he's like, nothing devious, father, but they're a crucial part in my future plans. <sighs> you're still not, you're still, you're still, you're still trying to do that, are you? As he's like, he's like, he's like yes, father, of course. It's always been a little dream of mine. Very well, I'll leave the negotiations to you. But if the... I'll leave the negotiations to you. You have to go personally to negotiate the, treat, the treaty. And if they break the treaty or um, threaten my empire, you're going, you personally are going to have to kill every one of them. Make myself clear. Yes, father. This is not... This is not a gift. This is a test. To see if you're ready for more responsibility. As Cooler cuts tra transmission. As Mina looks at Izuku. As Izuku, don't give me that look, Mina. As she's like, what are you doing, Izuku? What exactly are you, like... What exactly is this plan of yours, apparently, that you have, that you haven't told me about? As she has, Izuku's like, I'll tell you in due time, when the, when the time comes. I got a lot of work to do before we get to that point. As he walks out the door, as so is Mina, as he has the princess with her arm crossed, and the Kira and um, Vex are whistling like they're not doing anything. As he's like, ah, yeah, you overheard that, didn't you? No, in my luck. Come on, princess. Let's go somewhere to talk. And she's like, I can't wait to hear it. As they do that, as they know when the princess pissed off. And she's like, I knew I didn't. I knew I shouldn't trust you. You're plotting something. Is this, is this some sort of power grab? You and your family are... It disgusts me. As he's, he's like, no, there's nothing like that. I'm already in, I'm already, um, I'm already the heir. I just got to wait my time until the old man decides he doesn't want to do it anymore. I just got to wait on that. I don't really care. I really don't care about power, but that's not what I'm doing here. That's not what I'm, I have planned. And she's like, I don't know what you have planned, but you're not going to use my species for whatever it is. And she's like, calm down, princess, calm down. I guess I could let you in a little, I guess I could let you in. Considering your species is a vital part of this whole thing. And she's, she's listening. You see, I've always, I had an idea. For a while now, since I was a kid. I've seen how my father empire works. It's not perfect. Like I said, at least. My father has done some... Villainous. He's done some terrible things. And so does every every other um, nation or race. Depending on, you know... Every race does their own bad things, but... It's... The universe is in chaos. You have the cooler empire doing what they do. Then you have yours interrupting the, the nature of things, according to father, according to cooler. But I don't see it that way. I don't know what caused this whole war to begin with, but it stops. I have given full authority to make a truce treaty, treaty, uh, peace treaty with your people, your ruler. And she's like, that doesn't explain your plan. I was getting to that, princess. My apologies. I said, I should work on my getting to direct to the point more often. I want to make 
like a, you would call it a galaxy-wide task force. Peacekeepers, you would call them. And she's like, and the, um, imp and the cooler empire of Rome, controlling it. No, 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 no. This is going to be something separate. It's not going to be part of the cooler empire. As Ezekiel wants to test his own version of the, you know, galaxy control, whatever they're called, but he wants to make the Saints into a uh, peace treaty, a uh, peace. I forgot they're peacekeepers that make sure no one's doing nothing and evil or blowing up any other planet. So, yeah, he's trying to make it a lot more stable. A lot more, less work for him to do. In the long run, it's going to have him some free time. That's why he's doing it. Just for free time. To keep everything quiet. And once I establish this galaxy-wide task force, we would go around, they would go around, making sure that no one's um, doing what, what Emperor Cooler does. To put a halt to it. And no, before you say anything, I'm I'm not gonna be directly in I'm not gonna be directly in control of it. That would be up to you. I will deal with the fin the finance and all the legal terms as the Queen's been listening in the whole conversation. That's what I have planned. It's a childish dream, but I'm going to make it happen. And it will all be voluntarily. I won't be forcing on anything on your species. As long... The first step is the treaty. If your uh, mother, I take it it's the queen, considering you're a princess, so that makes sense. If she's willing to sign a peace treaty, that will be the first step. It'll be a long process for me to gain your people's trust. As uh, Luna? Yeah, it was Luna. Her scatter goes off as it's her mother. I would like to meet with him, daughter. Are you sure, Are you sure, mother? Yes. As she sighs, I guess I'm taking you back home base. As she speaks, I don't know if you're if you're being truthful, but my, I got my eye on you, Izuku. As Izuku says, "All right, fine, princess. Don't worry, I have nothing evil plan. Plan. I'm not told. I'm not like my father. I like to do things a certain way. As have this guy. I don't know what to call him. Um, let's name him real fast." I'm going to name him Wrath because uh, after his people got killed, he, from that day on, he went, he went by the name Wrath for vengeance, you know, Wrath for justice and all that stuff. No, I totally messed that up, but, um, as he changes his name, he starts just going by Wrath as he's in the healing pod in a alien race. That found him unconscious. Brought him there. Brought him there. As he fell into the uh, their planet atmosphere. Their orbit. As he landed on their planet. As they, they took care of him. As all he sees several of these creatures. These aliens. Moving back and forth as they're scrambling. As there's loud explosions going off in the city. As you have a a pink man has a devilish grin as he's throwing as he's throwing power balls at the city as he's laughing as he as he peers out of the building as he looks up to that creature as he flies up to him. 
as instantly, instantly Wrath punches Super Boo in the face. As he does, takes it and smiles and looks at him. Boo is disappointed. Uh, Boo is disappointed. Boo is stronger than you. As he punches him, as he goes flying, Boo's gonna kill you. As as he's charging up a blast, he's like, "Boo is superior. Die." As he throws a power ball at at Wrath. Majin Boo, uh, Super Boo, I don't know, it's technically Super Boo, but whatever. As he points the finger out, as he lights up the blast, as he's holding it back, Wrath, as he uses a bit of his power, as he pushes it back, it goes across, it leaves the atmosphere and dodges a couple planets. As he flies back, Flies back up to him. I don't know who. I don't know what you are, monster, but you're dead. As you light a mid-range um, energy blast, as it covers the surrounding area, as Boo gets hit by it, he starts laughing. As the parts of him is missing, as he's like, <laughs> "Is that all you got for Boo? Boo is still stronger." Boo will show you. As he instantly repairs himself. As Boo grabs him by the neck. And starts pound, punching his face over and over again. As Boo's laughing. Boo is stronger. You are weaker than Boo. I had enough. I'm done playing with you. As he drops him. As Boo had a light bulb, as he smiles devilishly, I have a better idea. As he grabs him by the neck, back of the neck, as he flies up, as they're out of the atmosphere, as he's like, Boo's gonna make you watch. As he has his hand on his back of his neck, as Boo lights the explosion, as he blows to the planet, as Wrath is screaming no, as Boo's like, yes, yes, yes. As Boo knees him, as he kicks them away. As Wrath, how could you, monster? As Boo's like, whew, give me a second here. <laughs> there were nothing to Boo. You are nothing to Boo either. You're too weak. Boo's gonna change. Boo's hungry. Boo's gonna change you. Boo's gonna change you into candy now. As he's like, what? As he hits a, a beam of um, energy. As as he changes into a candy. As he flies towards it, grabs it. Gulps it up. As he starts steaming out of his holes. As he's in a power up state. Or power up on um, pose. Oh, sorry. I said I paused it, but um. Now he absorbed them by the candy instead of just glopping them up. So that's how that's um that's how I'm doing it for the this time. Oh scratch that. Sorry guys. That will work better if I do the original way. So as he separates, as he goes towards him, as he's trying to as he thinks this is a, a some sort of weird attack, as he absorbs him. As he starts doing the whole gust of wind coming out of his um holes. As he's laughing. <laughs> oh better. 
Ah, let's see what we have. Uh, she's scanning for, for for higher power signatures. Bingo. As he blasts off. As Boo stops in front of the planet, puts his hand out. As he's like, Anubis, get down here or your precious planet, or this precious planet will, will be eradicated. As he's calling out Anubis, because he's been, um, they've been, Anubis has been fighting Boo to keep him contained for not him destroying too many planets. But each time he manages to get away, but he has a new power boost. So he thinks he's going to win. As you have. As you have the angel. Uh, Yuna. And Anubis comes out. The Anubis teacher allow me. Huh. You look different. But I wouldn't mistake that foul power stinger anywhere. Doesn't matter what form you take. You're still going to lose. As he's flying towards, I think it's about time I finish you off this time. I let you escape half the time because it amuses me. But this no longer amuses me. This is a blatant disrespect. To think a creature like you could come up against of a god of destruction. It's blasphemy. of me. Die. As they go in for battling, as they go as their fists collide as shockwaves, as shockwaves from their impact goes off. As we're going to cut to Midoriya, as he lands on the planet, they allow him to land on the planet with his ship, because this is a um, peace agreement. Before they um, agreed to the peace treaty, or it's just a guarantee that they're giving him some leeway. Just say he comes to his own ship, so he doesn't think they're they're trying to kill him. So you know, so as he steps out, as he's like, "Oh, this is going to be fun." As Mina's walking behind him, as he's like, "I think this is going to be a trap." And she's like, don't, don't worry. As the princess greets him. Now she went, she went ahead of time to get it all, everything all set, set, settled. As the princess greets him, she's like, this, this way you do. As they're traveling through the, um, uh, the little area, Cooler kind of blew up their last planet, so that happened, so. Going where they've been doing their military, they're in a, um, this is not their home base. This is just a, um, a dummy base they use, and it's perfect for a um, peace treaty. So they're, they're going through the complex that they're set as the queen's waiting for them in their conference hall. It's a big room. As she gets up. Ah, oh, Princess Yuku, it's finally nice to see you face to face. For once. As Izuku smiles, gives a bow and gesture, as he's like, It's it's very nice to meet you as well, your your majesty. And she's like <laughs> she cracks a smile. Alright, let's get down to business. I want to see your uh, treaty agreement to see what exactly we're dealing with. As I hope you, I hope you have that at least with you. As Yuzuki smiles, of course, Your Majesty. I'm a lot of things. Um, I'm a lot of things, but I'm always prepared. I already had one plan out. Instant, I know this is this was going to be uh, my next move. Looks at the the agreement. It's a decent deal, as there's some extra parts in it. As she's like, "What's this? I don't know nothing about this sector over here." As it's a um, he's giving them them a a planet. As he's like, "Oh that, yeah." According to our um, 
if you go, if this P treaty goes accordingly, you'll be getting that planet. It's of my own personal, one of my own personal planets I have. I'll give you the direct record, uh, direct control over it for your, for your repur, uh, your re um, your process of rebuilding your civilization. And we, and the empire won't, won't interfere in your daily, um, activities. As long as you don't become a threat to the empire. Or break any major laws. Because <laughs> I would hate to, because I'll be have to deal with it. I'll be personally dealing with, with the peace treaty and the process and everything. Nothing happens unless it goes through my say so. On my end, at least. As she, you know, be um, beyond my better judgment. I agree to these terms. This war needs to end, and I don't. And I don't like how um, my people is we're already um, on low numbers as it is. As easy as don't worry. I understand your situation more than other. I understand your situation. I've always kept an eye on the progress of my father's doings. I think the war was a um, mistake on his part. I'm not like an idiot like my father is. And I and I also would like the more information on this um, peace force that you're proposing. As Ezekiel takes out a he he has a purple drive. It's all here in this little stick. The process, what I have planned. Feel free to look at it and see what you think. See what you see if you're willing to be involved in something like that. It's all up to you, Your Majesty. And she's like, very well, I'll look into it. We're going to, um, I'm going to have my advisors look over this. All the information we have here. And we'll, I'll give my answer tomorrow. Until then, you're, you're our guest. So their little complex is kind of nice. Even for, you know, a oh, uh, temporary base so they do have you know royalty so they have you know benefits so easy to get a nice meal out of it so he's not complaining he figured there was going to be a wait like this this way easy i'll show you where your quarters is as she walks to him to his own quarters and she's like, if you need anything, um, let the guards know. As there's two female saints guarding, you know, the, um, his door, his, um, room. Make sure to know, um, no one try to assassinate him or anything like that. Because he's a high, vile target. In a whole, in a whole complex full of Saiyan, so, yeah. As we cut to Anubis and, um... And Boo. Don't know what to call him. Um, yeah, he does absorb him, so he, I don't know what to call him. Like, um, Wrath Boo. <laughs> but anyways. As they're fighting as Yuna. Oh, dear. He's going to lose. That's very troubling. As in this, um, in, in this universe. In this universe, Boo's a whole lot stronger in this one. As she looks at her staff, as she's like, where are you? Ah, there you are. As she appears in front of the talks with Izuku and the queen. The queen sees uh, Yuna, Lady Yuna, as the queen bows. Ah, it's been a while. It's been a long time. Unfortunately, I would love to sit. I I would love to, you know, 
exchange pleasantries and all. But I have... I have to make this brief. As she looks over easy. Ah, oh, there you are. I need your help, my boy. As you think is an alien teacher. As everyone else else everyone else is confused as the queen looks at Izuku like how do they know each other? How does he, how does that boy know him? Oh no um Lady Yuna. That's what she's thinking in her head. What's it what is the teacher? I need your assistance. Anubis has need some assistance. Now um now Yuna uh watching the fight knew he was gonna he was gonna um the fight was gonna go more towards Boo's favor. So she's not gonna have that. She doesn't want to train another uh a god of destruction. Cause that would have to um, she would have to find a new um appropriate um candidate. And she doesn't want to use use Izuku. So there's that. I'm, I'm, as easy because I'm more than willing to help, teacher, but I'm kind of in the middle of a um, peace treaty uh, negotiations. As the queen, um, no, the queen knows, you know, anything to do with her is uh, very important. And she's like, Izuku, was it? And she's like, as Izuku's like, yes, your majesty, we could always propone, pro, pro, ah, uh, postpone. The alliance, uh, the uh, peace treaty, for for now. Anything to do with Lady Yuna, it must be urgent. As the queen steps on, you know, next to the, Yuna, it's like I'm coming along, of course. As seems like fun. As she, the queen smiles, as you know, um, her daughter's like sighing. <sighs> Mom, you're the queen. You can't just... I'm the, exactly, I'm the queen. I do whatever I want. As she's joined this little exapade. As she's powerful. Because... Uh, Yuna, the angel, trained her personally. Yuku and the queen gets teleported. As they're seeing the fight with Anubis. As Yuku's teacher, who's the pink thing? What's the pink thing over there? And uh, she's like, that right there, my boy. He's called, um, oh, he's a Majin. Majin Boo. He's a quite troublesome creature. I want you to help out Anubis. As he's like, grins. As he's like, oh, this is going to be fun. Like, yes, teacher. Consider it done. Not bad for a uh, lower being. As he's inside, he's furious. He's like, he's like, how is he beating me? As you know, he's getting irritated. As he starts throwing huge explosions, as Boo snap snaps him out of the way, grabs him by the neck. Suddenly, he gets the foot in the face. As he gets th thrown backwards, as he dropped um, Anubis from the impact from Izuku kicking him. As Boo gets up, as he's like, that hurt Boo. And who exactly are you? As he's like, I don't sense anything from you. You're weak. As he goes in to punch Izuku, as Izuku does... Goes to the side and knees him in the face. As Boo gets frustrated. Because he can't sense his movements. Because he's using the whole... Um, he knows how Anubis fights. But he doesn't know how, how, how easy you fight. So he's getting a little irritated. As I think he's like... How rude. First moment. You know, first moment you meet, you meet someone... You call them weak? That's not very nice. Pink thing, I guess. I don't know what to call you. 
judging by all this boo that, boo this, your name's Boo, isn't it? As he gets gets a smirk. As Boo gets a smirk. Huh. Let me proper introduce myself, Boo. I'm Iziku. And I'm here to kill you. As Anubis is like, Boy, he's more powerful than you think. Oh, I know. Don't know, don't know where you came from. Don't care. I'm going to make sure you, you, you're either crawling back in pieces or none at all. As Ezekiel goes into, um, as they go into a clash, as Boo's quite impressed by his power, as he's like, Boo thought you were weak. Boo was mistaken. This is going to be fun for me. As you know. As he's getting more excited from the fight. As he's like, you're, you're a lot more better than the old, the old cat. As Anubis is like, what did you call me? As he rushes over there and punches him. And that's where we're going to probably stop it there. Because, yeah, it's going to be, I plan so. Sorry about the, you know, little cliffhanger. So, hope you guys have a good night and day, judging by time zones. Alright, bye.